love what we do when they know we're around Started from the ground, always gotta hold it down Now they think they got it cause they signed up on a doubt it But there's only so much money in the year that is allotted Plus you probably don't even know how it is to fight it What's up people YouTube, this really here bringing you guys another video And today I'm going to be giving you guys a review over Suicide Squad So Suicide Squad is like the most popular DC movie that's out right now It's the one that everyone's talking about, everybody wants to go see it Etc. Etc. So, I'm not going to spoil anything in here. This should be spoiler free for the most part. Um, nothing major. I'm not, you know, going to tell you any story plots or anything like that. I'm just going to break down my overall opinion of the way that they did the story, the way that they played the characters, things like that, how I felt about the actors, and whether or not you guys should go see the movie. And at the end of this video, I'll probably give it a rating out of 10, some, something like that. And uh, let's let's get right into this. So to start off, one of the big things that I think everybody wants to know about and wants to hear about is, were the actors good? Um, was Deadshot played properly? Was Joker played properly? And most importantly, was Harley Quinn played properly? I think these three characters are the ones that a lot of people are really, really interested in. And two out of these three characters, in my opinion, was played really, really well. So first of all, I'm going to get the bad one out of the way. I don't think that the Joker was done right. Now, I went into this movie not expecting it to compete with Heath Ledger. I wasn't going into this movie saying, this Joker is supposed to be like Heath Ledger's Joker, etc., etc. I understood that this was supposed to be a completely different Joker from Heath Ledger's. I get that. I completely separated that out of my mind. I went in there expecting to be entertained by a new themed Joker. But that's not what I got. The, the idea that I got out of this new Joker was basically he was a guy who killed people and tortured people who looked kind of like the Joker. That was about it. There, there was nothing that stood out about him from any other criminal, for the most part, who liked to torture and kill people. That that was pretty much the main census of that. There was a couple things that I'm not going to spoil for you guys, but there was a couple things that he did that was just kind of like, okay, that kind of makes sense. And in terms of things he was doing... Um, the infamous Joker laugh, honestly, that never really happened in the movie. There was a couple points where he was about to do it, and then it just trailed off into something else, or some other audio covered what he was doing, so you couldn't clearly hear it. I don't feel like they let the Joker be the Joker. Um, so, next up, I'm going to talk about Deadshot. So, I think that my opinion might be different from others but i think that deadshot was played amazingly i think the deadshot did a really 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 good job he was he was played really really well will smith did a really really good job playing deadshot um i liked how he was a leader in a sense he acted as a leader he wasn't a bad guy like he was a person who did bad things but he wasn't a bad guy he wasn't actually a bad guy he had good intentions good means he was he cared about certain things that once again i'm not going to spoil for you that you will have to see in the movie um but he didn't really he out of, out of everybody that was there he was definitely the best person in terms of quality the quality of a person he was the best and i feel like Will Smith really capitalized on the acting for him. Okay, so next on here, I want to talk about Harley Quinn. Um, I was This was probably the best part of the movie to me. I was really looking forward to Harley Quinn. And even though Harley Quinn wasn't everything that I expected her to be, she was still really, really, really good. Harley Quinn's character was done really well, in my opinion. I think she should have had a little bit more talking. Um, a little more, a few more parts in there that was purely for her. Um, that wasn't so much the case. She did have a lot of parts, but it wasn't, you know, it was always little tiny subtle things. It wasn't anything big. But I think Harley Quinn was done right. I think she was done very, very well. I would have liked to have seen this movie be R-rated. Um, sadly, it wasn't. But that's okay. You, you get the general idea. And supposedly there is a Harley Quinn slash Joker movie coming out uh, in 2017 or 18, something like that. And I look forward to seeing that movie if that is the case. Uh, but honestly, Deadshot and Harley Quinn were probably the highlights of the movie. Everything else was kind of lackluster. So I want to take a step back and look at this from the outside in. Me going into the movie, I didn't know that it was going to be as far-fetched and... Um, fantasy-like as it was. I, I didn't know 
that the things that were going to happen in that movie did. And when you go to see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it already. Um, I didn't think that it was going to be that that crazy, right? I thought it was going to be in the realm of realism, and it just kind of wasn't. It kind of fell off there for me. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of movies and shows and stuff that are crazy out there and unrealistic. Uh, and this movie was exactly that. Uh, the action scenes were really, really good in the movie. It um, They did a really good job of making sure that you knew that shit was going to go down, that you knew it was a, was going to be an action scene and that things were going to get hectic and crazy. I, I praise them for that. They did a really good job there. Um, I know this was a Suicide Squad movie, but I kind of expected there to be a little bit more Batman. Um, but that's also okay. That wasn't a huge deal either. Last but not least, I think that the main enemy of the movie was scary, but just simply wasn't interesting. I didn't, I wasn't worried at all. Like, nothing about it made me think, oh god, how are they going to achieve this giant feat? Like, I just knew that everything was going to be alright. I think that they did a really, really poor job of explaining what was going on through the movie. So, like, the part where things start to get out of hand about a little bit less than halfway through the movie. I feel like they didn't explain that very well. It didn't, it just kind of wasn't. And then it was, things were okay and everybody was under control. And then just out of nowhere, it wasn't. And there was no real, this is how it happened. This is why things happened. Later on in the movie, they kind of explain a little more, but once again, it's not all laid out. Like it should be in a movie. When you, when you leave the movie theater, you should know, okay, I understand everything that happened in that movie. Or, you know, unless it's a movie that's supposed to mess with your head, which this wasn't. This was not that kind of movie. So, if I was to give this a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a 6, honestly. Um, going into the movie, I was expecting it to be like a 7.5 or an 8, something like that. I was really, really excited about this movie. It didn't really meet my expectations, but once again, it was not the worst thing in the world. I've talked to a friend or two about it, and... It's not an awful movie. It's just not something that I would recommend wasting money on in the theaters. If you're going to see it, wait until it comes out on DVD. Buy the $10 DVD or the Blu-ray or go to the Red Box. Whatever you want to do, do it that way. Because it's not it's not a movie to spend, you know, $30 on at a movie theater. It's just, it's not worth it. Anyways, guys, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed this movie review. I hope it was helpful in deciding whether or not you were going to go see Suicide Squad and Deuces.